Let me ask you a question. Those goals that you had set at the beginning of this year, how are you progressing towards them? Now, don't worry if you're not. I used to struggle too with setting yearly goals, which is why I started to use the system, the 12 week year, in order to accomplish more throughout the year. Hello beautiful people, my name is Adamu Shoyo and I teach you how to create more time, life, and energy out of each day through meaningful and intentional productivity strategies. The 12 week year stems off of this book created by Brian P. Morin and Michael Lennington. And essentially the goal of this book is to try to teach you how to get more done within 12 weeks than you would necessarily in 12 months. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of creating your 12 week year. And then I'm gonna show you how I have planned out my 12 week year using Notion. The 12 week year system is the perfect system for setting and achieving goals because it creates a lot more of a sense of urgency. So rather than giving you a year to get everything done, you're giving yourself 12 weeks, which makes you say more intentional and more focused with what it is that you actually wanna do and what it is that you really want to accomplish. I found that the 12 week year has really helped me get clear on what is really important to me right now and what is it that I can realistically commit to trying to get done right now. There's a lot of things that I've said that I wanna do and it doesn't mean that I'm not going to do it throughout the year, but I know for a fact that for this 12 weeks, I'm really just zeroing in and focusing in on these three specific areas and then I can move on to something else at the end of these 12 weeks. Now, in order to know whether or not your goals are really good and actually really achievable, they have to be actionable, they have to be measurable, and there has to be a way for you to hold yourself accountable. And so the 12 week year really starts with outlining what it is that you are trying to do, and then you list some actionable and measurable things that you, can, you want to accomplish each week in order to make progress towards your goal. And then you have a deadline of making sure that you get all of these things done by the end of the 12 weeks, which also helps you hold yourself accountable and making sure that you are actually making progress. So let me give you an example. Let's say one of your goals are to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, right? That is your overarching goal and you want to be able to do that in 12 weeks. Now, the next thing you need to do is really outline what strategies you have in place in order to achieve that goal. So that can look like making sure that you upload a video once a week, making sure you're uploading YouTube shorts, making sure that you're keeping track of your analytics, those are those three strategies that will really help you make progress towards your overall goal of getting 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now, the thing that makes a 12-week year even more than just laying out a plan and listing out your plan of action is that it really has you work within the plan. And you're really working towards making sure that you hold yourself accountable. So the thing, three different strategies or tactics that you said that you were gonna do, you have each week, you have to make sure that you're seeing how that translates from week to week. So the 12 week year has this concept of scoring. So based on the different strategies, if you achieve that strategy, then for the amount of days that you've committed to for that week, then you can give yourself 100% of your actually making progress towards those goals. If you didn't do one of those things, then you know that you knock it down a third or 33% and, and so on and so forth. So it's like you're really holding yourself accountable from week to week so that by the end of the 12 weeks, even if you didn't hit your goals the way that you wanted to, you're able to at least know the areas or the places in which you kind of fell off a little bit and you know for the next 12 weeks what you need to do in order to get there the next time. And the last thing that the 12 week year really, really focuses on is making sure that you're giving yourself time to reflect and rest. So after you've finished out this 12 week year, giving yourself a weekend or a week to really understand what happened, what went right, what went wrong, what you wish you could do next time to improve, but also really giving yourself time to set out what you wanna do for the next 12 weeks so that you can continue to work on getting as much done as you want to and achieving as much as you want to as well. 
Now I'm going to walk you through how I plan my 12-week year in Notion using my 12-week year planner. So I have this template that's already existing in a database. It just has two properties. One is the start date and then one is the end date, which is a formula property that just calculates 12 weeks after the date that I say it's going to start. And here is where I start brainstorming. You can add new priorities using the priority button. But for this example, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like to just plan one of your priorities. And I just use this example of learning French. Um, and then you outline what your strategies or different things that you think will help you in being able to learn French. So I have studying 15 minutes three times a week, attending a live lesson and watching one show. Now we get into where you actually start keeping track of things in your weeks. So here's an example of what the first week will look like. You'll notice that this is here because I have it labeled as a sync block. And then here you can see my priorities and one of them is learning French. And so now I can go in here and see all of the strategies that I have listed. You can also come back and, you know, outline your strategies and everything like that and how frequently you're going to do that so here I have you know studying 15 minutes I have it as um, I want to do it three times a week attending watching an episode in French watching it once and then attending a live class watching it once in the strategy tracker you're able to just track things using the checkbox here and then you can see how it scores how well you're doing based off of how you're completing the strategies. So for example, if I were to have only done this once and or none at all, you can see that now my score for this particular week is 33% because I haven't done all of the strategies that would help me with getting the priority complete. And then every week you can always add new strategies. I had it set this way just because you never know when things are gonna change in your life. Um, sometimes your strategies might change when you know information. Sometimes your priorities might change when you know information. So, but you wanna make sure that the 12 week year is as continuous as it can be, which is why I just have it this way. And then each week you can kind of look to see what you were doing, what your priorities were, and how it was gonna be done. And I have this template actually on my Notion template shop, which you can get, but that is how I plan out my 12 week year. If you would like to check out this template or some of my other templates, click the link in my description box to learn more. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so I can know what you wanna watch next. Also, let me know in the comments down below, what are some of your goals that you have set for the next 12 weeks? I'll chat with you soon. Bye.